Announcing and introducing the suspects, Mrs. Peacock. Colonel Mustard. Suspects truly hated me. Does that does that give each of them a motive for murder? That's up to you to decide. <laughs> Goodbye. You won't be hearing from me again. I'm going to live life on a higher plane. <laughs> Is he gone, do you think? I could hear him, but I couldn't see him anywhere. Yes, Mrs. Peacock, that wretched Sir Body is truly gone. At last. Oh, well, thank goodness, Colonel Darling. My poor lungs about ready to fall off my poor little body. Well, Mr. Green, why do we have to stand like that anyway? Well, because, Miss Scarlet, we don't want to attract his attention. And trust me, when you run around being dressed like this, you attract enough attention as it is. <laughs> well, tickle my giblets and call me Butterball. Would you guys stop cluttering up this place? My despised employer may be dead, but I'm being paid by the estate to look after things. Ah, Mrs. Wine, you use that term despise quite readily. It virtually rolled off your tongue, as they say. Could it be that you are the killer responsible for his undoing? Oh, oh she could be. Silence, all of you. I realize some of you are functioning a few bricks short of the load. Let's try to maintain some decorum here, please. <laughs> Professor Plum. You old windbag, you hated Sir Body as much as all the rest of us. Don't you try pulling anything over on me. I think you're the killer. I think so too. Oh, yes. Balderdash, Balderdash, Balderdash. If anyone had the motive and the opportunity, it was his very own wife, Mrs. Peacock. Oh, I don't know. She was actually yeah. married to Sir Body, you know. But being a feminist, she kept her own name. <laughs> that in itself is highly suspicious, don't you think? Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. Be still, be still, all of you. You are all correct. For I did have motive and opportunities. But 
I have my own story to tell. So be gone, all of you. Choo, choo, oh, choo, oh, choo. Oh, oh. I need time to think. I've buried six husbands, and it's my belief that marriage itself brings you nothing but headache and heartache, lawsuits and stress. And so on my honor, I now must continue my job tending <laughs> graves at my keep to make sure my lovers have undisturbed sweet violets sweeter than all the roses covered all over from head to toe covered all over with sweet violets my first husband loved tennis he drove me insane i locked him outside in the cold driving snowstorm he froze as stiff as a post <laughs> Now, I'll take the credit, but I hate to confess it because it makes all things worse. Ah, but now it is time to be singing this with me, please. Sweet violets, come on. Sweeter than all the roses. Louder. Louder all over from head to toe. Covered all over with sweet. My second spouse snored, and I really slept. So one day, I finally broke down, and I poisoned his porridge, and watched as he ate. He mentioned his porridge, sure tasted waffle. <laughs> and then he gave up the ghost. And now he resides with the heavenly together. Sweet violets, sweeter than all the roses, covered all over from head to toe, covered all over with sweet violets. Husbands three, four, and five had wandering eyes. They loved other women, their hips and their bust lines and hem lines, and one other part. <laughs> they each had their turn in breaking my spirit. I sent them where spirits abound. They now fertilize flowers from together. Sweet violets. Sweeter than all the roses. Come on, I can't hear you. Covered all over from head to toe. Covered all over with sweet violets. Now wealthy Sir Buddy was my number six. He had many flaws that I couldn't live with. His name was top of my list. Someone beat me to it. Now that's quite a tall tale. But trust me, believe me, it's true. I did not send Buddy to his final. Come on, last time with Gusto. Sweet violets, sweeter than all the rosebuds, covered all over from head to toe. 